good afternoon dear 9th standard students stay safe secure at home during this covid 19 so dear students we are in the geography class in the last class we had discussed about the structure of the earth that is crust mantle and core so it is the continuation of the previous class uh, let us see the next topic rocks and rock cycle the crust is a storehouse of rocks you know the crust is outer layer of the earth and aggregate of minerals on the earth crust is called rock in aggregate means the total amount of the minerals is called rock uh, it may be hard compact like a granite or soft as clay or loose as sand you know the form may be uh, hard or soft right like maybe like granite uh, what we use in our houses or uh, or some other like uh, sand or clay so mogabalipuram in tamil nadu is an example of rock cut architecture uh, rocks are classified as igneous sedimentary and metamorphic you know we'll discuss in detail about all these three forms and types uh, now let us see all these three types in a gist so first one we are going to talk about igneous which means uh, fire it is derived from the word latin word igneous the formation is a uh, solidification of molten magma solidification means a strong form of a liquid which means like a rock uh, fossil availability do not contain fossil you know the fossil do not contain and type is intrusive and extrusive which means it can be pierced through or it, it can come out also and the example granite and basalt so sand and stone forms are the examples next one sedimentary the meaning is settling down it is uh, derived from the latin word sedimentum so the formation is formed by sediments derived and deposited due to high temperature and pressure so it is formed due to the high temperature and pressure it contains fossil you know fossil means uh, something that uh, remains in any other form and type is organic inorganic chemical so example limestone chalk you know the limestone or uh, chalk these are the forms of the sedimentary the next one is metamorphic you know uh, the very meaning itself will understand meta means change morpho means shape so change of shape uh, derived from greek word metamorphic uh, it is formed when igneous and sedimentary rocks are subject to high temperature and pressure and uh, do not contain fossil so it is the type of thermal or dynamic you know example quartz and marble you know we, what we use in our home you know, uh, quartz stones or marble so, so it can be changed the shape can be changed so that is the thing so take down this and we will discuss one by one in this class first one igneous rocks so these are two types extrusive and intrusive extrusive means these rocks are fine grained and glassy in nature see look at the second picture so these rocks are formed from molten magma it's a liquid form after reaching the earth surface the molten magma gets solidified so from liquid to it uh, is uh, coming into solid form next intrusive igneous rock So when the molten magma sometimes cools down deep inside the earth's crust and becomes solid called intrusive rocks they are also called uh, uh, crustaline rocks so inside the earth it is getting cooled and comes into form so you what you see in the picture the first picture is intrusive igneous rock the next one is sedimentary rock uh, we have discussed about this three type organic inorganic and chemical organic means these are formed due to decomposition of uh, dead plants and animals you know uh, due to some disaster or catastrophe uh, decomposition happens so from that dead plants and animals we can get this organic 
and inorganic means they are formed from the disintegration of igneous rocks you know disintegration means breaking into uh, parts chemical these are formed by precipitating of minerals from water usually through evaporation of chemical rich solution so it's evaporating the chemical rich solution it happens this chemical form so these are the three forms in uh, the types of sedimentary rocks next one the types of metamorphic rocks so only two types are there thermal and dynamic thermal metamorphic if the change in the rocks is mainly caused by the high temperature it is called thermal metamorphic rocks next dynamic metamorphic rocks if the change in the rocks is mainly caused by high pressure it is called dynamic metamorphic rocks in simple way we can understand uh, thermal means it is caused by high temperature and dynamic metamorphic means it is caused by high pressure so that's all uh, from the types of metamorphic rocks next we are going to discuss about rock cycle you know the cycle of all these three forms so igneous rocks uh, the primary rocks formed first on the earth so on the earth it is the first layer uh, they are weathered eroded transported and deposited at some places to form sedimentary rocks so both together change into metamorphic rock under the influence of high temperature and pressure you know both the igneous and sedimentary rocks can be changed into metamorphic because of the high temperature and pressure so metamorphic rock also disintegrate to sedimentary rock so the metamorphic rocks can be broken into sedimentary rock uh, the rocks on the earth i mean the in the crust level can be changed from one form to another form under various forces and ages so this is called a rock cycle uh, i've given a picture for the better understanding how the cycle takes place so it is taking place one form to another form so look at the picture you can understand it better so that's all for today's class dear students if you have further doubts you can clarify me uh, through whatsapp and once again uh, be safe and secure at home stay healthy Thank you.